Welcome to today's tutorial of Big Dream ICT. My name is Ifain Obioma, your ICT tutor. Today I'm very happy because we are getting closer to the practical section of our tutorial package. If you've not watched the previous tutorials where we looked at the basic concept of ICT, the computer system as an ICT device and the components that make up the computer system, please quickly go and watch those tutorials they will be very helpful and if you're watching this tutorial now and you've not subscribed to our youtube channel quickly hit on the subscribe button also click on the notification icon to get notifications on our weekly video post and you'll be very glad you did let's jump straight into what we have today by the end of this tutorial you will be able to Identify the computer keyboard and mouse. Know the features of the computer keyboard and mouse. As well as learn how to use the computer keyboard and the mouse. In order to interact with any computer, the user must understand how to use input devices with the installed software applications including the operating system. The mouse and keyboard are examples of computer input devices which enable the user to enter data into the computer system. The keyboard has been the most common input device and in the last two decades the mouse has also become an indispensable input device. The image on the screen is a typical example of a three-button mouse. Label 1 on the mouse is known as the left mouse button. Label 2 is called the right mouse button, while the area labeled 3 is known as the scroll wheel. Three button mouse is the most common type of mouse. It is also important for you to know that some mice may have additional buttons on the side or may not include a scroll wheel. How to use the mouse While holding the mouse in your hand, Use your finger and click gently on the buttons to make selections with the mouse. The index finger should be used for scrolling of the scroll wheel and clicking of the left mouse button, while the middle finger should be used for clicking the right mouse button. Some of the terms which are related with the use of mouse include Clicking Clicking is the process of pressing the left mouse button once. Double clicking This is the action of pressing the left mouse button twice while the mouse remains stationary. Right clicking. Right clicking means pressing the right mouse button once. Scrolling. This means moving the scroll wheel with one's index finger. Scroll clicking. Scroll clicking is the action of pressing down on the scroll wheel as if it were a button. After describing a mouse and explaining how to use the mouse, let me now describe the computer keyboard. The computer keyboard. The computer keyboard is used together with the mouse as the primary input device. The computer keyboard is very similar to a typewriter keyboard, although with some additional special keys. 
The image displayed on the screen is a typical example of a computer keyboard. The computer keyboard special keys. From what you see on the screen, you can tell that computer keyboard is made up of many clickable buttons or keys. These buttons are arranged on the computer keyboard according to their special functions. Now let us look at the special keys and their different functions. Special keys and their functions. The following are the keyboard special keys and their functions. Number 1 Numeric Keypad Numeric Keypad allows the user to enter numbers with a keypad layout just like a calculator. Before I continue with the number 2 special key and its function, let me quickly define the word cursor. A cursor is a blinking vertical line that indicates where a test type can be inserted when typing test in any test editing application. Number 2 Navigation Keys the navigation keys are the page up key, the page down key, the home key, and the end key. The navigation keys are keys which moves the cursor to different locations in most test editing programs. Number 3 Editing Keys the editing keys are the insert key which inserts test and overrides test in most test editing programs. The delete key which deletes single character of test to the right in most test editing programs and the backspace key which deletes single character of test to the left in most test editing programs. Number 4 The Directional Keys The directional keys are keys which allows the user to move the computer cursor to different directions in test editing applications. These keys are as follows. The left directional key which moves the cursor to the left in test editing programs. The right directional key, which moves the cursor right in test editing programs. The up directional key, which moves the cursor up in test editing programs. And the down directional key, which moves the cursor down in test editing programs. Number 5 Function Keys the function keys perform specific assigned functions depending on what program is active. These keys ranges from F1 to F12. The F1 key is the help key in many programs. Number 6 Escape key the escape key terminates the currently active process in most programs and will also close certain windows. Number 7 Number 7 on the list are the control, the shift and the alternate keys. These are keys that change or enhance specific actions when combined with other keys and 8 the windows key the windows key activates the windows start menu which is the same as clicking the start button on the taskbar 
this is where we will end today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in our next tutorial. Bye.